Hey there, my name is Paul and this is Out of Neutral, a weekly vlog where we look to the Bible to get in gear and follow Jesus into the life he came to make possible. Today I want to talk about what to do when the Christian life feels like a chore. A while back I preached from Acts chapter 3, which tells the story of a religious crowd in the temple going through the motions, ready to chase after the latest new thing. That week someone from the congregation wrote the following. Diving deeper into the sermon, I think what you said really st stuck with me. I feel like in a nutshell, that's my Christian life. You know, I try to do what I'm supposed to do. Read my Bible, pray, go to church, help the poor, all the physical aspects. But as you said, there's still something missing, a refresh. Sadly, I can't even say I have a desire or a thirst. I just do it because I love God and know everything he says and orders us to do is out of his love and perfection. It's like brushing my teeth. I don't have a desire to do it, but I know it's good for me. And my dentist has the best interest for my teeth. I wonder whether many of you identify with these words. I did. <laughs> Let me share with you some of what I wrote in, a ca in case it's a help to when you find yourself going through the motions in your relationship with God. I said this, you mentioned how doing all the right things spiritually, but rather than doing them out of desire, you're doing them out of a belief that it's right and good and in your best interest. I find most aspects of the Christian life make more sense when I compare them to other relationships I have. For example, if I faithfully provided for my wife, took her out on dates regularly, helped around the house and tried to do everything she wanted, but told her that it all felt like a chore, she'd be pretty disappointed. She wouldn't accuse me of being a hypocrite, nor would she be ungrateful for what I was doing, but she would remind me that what she thought was at the heart of our marriage was a love that she felt for me and I for her. She would say, I love that you do all those things, but I'd love even more if you did them out of love for me. I think our relationship with God is like that. Compare the approach that sees marriage and the Christian life as a chore to Jacob's words in Genesis 20, 29, 20. It says this, so Jacob served seven years for Rachel and they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. That's the motivation that fuels a healthy relationship, whether with God or with people. So where does that leave us in approaching a routine Christian life? If we don't feel the desire for anything more, the advice is the same that we'd give to the husband who was going through the motions. What you're doing is great, but your relationship could be so much more if your heart was in it. I've done three things when I felt like I'm going through the motions in my Christian life. And I've often caught myself feeling like that. First, I confess my lack of desire for God as sin. That doesn't nullify the value or meaning of all the good things that I'm doing, but it just recognizes that my heart matters too. And second, I remind myself of the blessings that God wants to pour out in my life. He knows that my relationship with him could be so much more than it is. And third, I talk to God more personally in prayer. Express your love for him. Express your gratefulness to him. Tell him where you're hurting or struggling or doubting. When we take our relationship with God to a more personal level, the feelings often return and the emotions can become more meaningful. May God send all of us times of refreshing as we seek his face today. That's all for this time. If today's video has helped you get out of neutral, share it with your friends and subscribe to join us on the journey.